Flyaway can validate your migrations according to its own conventions, giving you the confidence you need to apply new migrations. However, as the lifetime of a project increases, there will inevitably be hotfixes, deleted migrations, and other changes that break the conventions of Flyaway's validation. In these cases, you will need a way to tell Flyaway that these migrations are valid. And in Flyaway Teams Edition 7.8, we added the Ignore Migration Patterns configuration parameter. Allows you to specify a list of patterns of the form type colon status, and any migration that matches any of these patterns is ignored during validate. And that's all there is to it. After a quick and easy configuration, you'll have customized how Flyaway validates your migrations. Let's say our schema history table is as follows. We have a successfully applied version migration v1 and a missing repeatable migration repeatable. Running Flyaway Validate will fail, giving us an error that there is detected applied migration that is not resolved locally. In most cases, this is the correct result. You identify why this migration is missing, such as being accidentally deleted, and after resolving the issue, running Flyaway Validate again will succeed. However, what if this migration was deleted intentionally? This can be the case when it is infeasible to keep every migration. In particular, you might delete repeatable migrations, but not version migrations, and you need a way for Validate to reflect this. Giving ignore migration patterns the value repeatable colon missing is exactly the way to achieve this. Running Flyaway Validate will no longer fail, and missing version migrations will still get caught. In this next example, we have a missing repeatable migration, as in the previous example, and a pending version migration, V1. Running Flyaway Validate will fail for both of these migrations, erroring that there is a detected applied migration not resolved locally, and detected resolved migration not applied to the database. While the default behavior of validate here causes an error, you may not want to error in this scenario. Missing repeatable migrations were explained in the previous example, and if you are validating before applying new migrations, then you don't want to fail on any pending migrations. Instead, you want to ensure that the migrations that were applied up to now can be successfully validated. Achieving the desired result only requires passing a list of patterns to ignore migration patterns. With the value repeatable colon missing, comma, asterisk, colon pending. Flyaway Validate will no longer fail for missing repeatable migrations or any pending migrations, which we specified using the asterisk wildcard.